Well, Mr. Savage, what do you feel you could bring to a child's life? Well, love, of course. Lots and lots of love. I love kids, mate. Mrs. Sandwich and I wanted a big family, but she never lasted her honeymoon. God rest her soul. Never met a girl like her since. It can get lonely at times, sitting, staring at the asses in the earth and wondering where the next week Bob is coming from. Excuse me, are you not in current employment? It is very important that every applicant here can provide a stable environment for potential adoptees, both emotionally and financially. Well acknowledged, sir. Well acknowledged. Rest assured, any ward of my care, he'd want for nothing. He'd be skipping down the cobblestones, his belly full of bread and his heart full of a song, unless I promise. So, Mr. Savage, are you employed? Self-employed, my lady. What you might call an entrepreneur. Taking from the present to build for the future. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Self-employed people usually need to work very long hours as a single man. Would you admit that it would be hard for you to balance work with rearing a child? Well, that's the beauty of it. I can combine the both. I can have the child with me, and he can learn a trade at the same time. At your office? Office. <laughs> Streets is my office, sir. See, there's plenty of room. I don't pay no rent, and it's where I meet all my best customers. Casual trading? Casual pilfering, my lady. Nothing too fancy in mind. Just a couple of purses and wallets a week and I'm up to me tonsils with mackerel and gin. As will my little boy be. And when these hands are too old and stiff to raid a satchel, the boy, bless him, he can provide for his pot. Mr. Sandwich. The life that I've been living, I deserve no pity. Feasting on the wealth of this magnificent fair city. Now can this umbrageous master of fraud and peculation take up the chance to bequeath his game to the young generation? So right. Up with me, children, come under my wing. Keep your eyes and minds open, I'll teach everything. In my library of last name, my textbook of theft. And ensure that you scallywags aren't deceitfully bereft. The streets are no place for a young child, you say. Why, it's just far too easy to run wild these days. So I do think it prudent if adolescent and a key not be scolded but molded by a good chap like me. Pipes raring to go for opportunities presented by an open window, and there won't be a trinket safe in the land. While the plotting of a lightning quick hand. Thus I trust in you, most compassionate jury. To decree a verdict unfettered by fury And to grant me a child A mind and body able Whom I could joyfully welcome To my felonious stable Well, Mr. Savage, that will conclude our interview. It was a pleasure, my lady. <laughs> we'll process your application in line with today's uh, meeting. Thank you for your time. It was a pleasure. Do you think we should call the guards? I wouldn't bother. Hard to believe, but I've seen much worse than him.
He's more a danger to himself. Harmless poor gobshite. Getting a new brother, Dad? Sorry, son. I think we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Come on. I'll buy an ice cream. That's okay, Dad. I'll buy you one instead. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> 